Are you prepared to lose the party whip on this? Because there are reports in the paper today that those Conservative MPs who rebel could lose the whip. Are you prepared to do that? Well, I, I've seen those reports. I mean, if it is the position now that um, you know, defying a, a whip on a European vote is a matter that uh, uh, you lose the, 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 the whip for the Conservative Party, then I think there's quite a lot of Conservative MPs who, over the recent months, would have lost the, the, the whip. Um, but, you know, sometimes there is a point where it is... You have to judge between your own personal interests and the national interest, and the national interest has to come first. Um, but I hope it doesn't come to that, and I hope that uh, cooler and calmer heads will look at this and think that uh, trying to split the Conservative Party in this way is not a sensible way forward uh, for the Conservative Party or indeed for the country. One of your colleagues, Oliver Letwin, has said, you know, in effect, time isn't the issue here when it comes to sorting this out. It's getting a majority mm -hmm. that, that will back this. If that doesn't happen and you don't get this through, are you, would you then look at supporting a vote of no confidence in the government if that is brought forward by the Labour Party? Well, the position I have consistently said is that you know, the country faces two big risks, uh, a, a crash out on the 31st of October or a Jeremy Corbyn government. I don't want to do anything that would facilitate a Jeremy Corbyn government. Uh, indeed, one of my worries about a no-deal Brexit is that it will create the chaos in which Jeremy Corbyn could win a general election. So I, I, don't, I don't want him to become Prime Minister. But isn't that part of the argument that some people would say, well, you, you say you want to do everything to stop a no-deal Brexit, but you're not prepared to do that, to support him getting into number 10, even if just for a very short period of time? I, I don't believe that Jeremy Corbyn is fit to be Prime Minister, and I don't want to facilitate that.